comes to crop protection, sometimes there's a big price tag attached to that, and especially if you have to borrow the money, that can be a big cost well, for farmers. Well, farmers are always borrowing money, it seems like, because let's face it, we just talked on the show a couple of months ago about how if you compare 2004 to today, it costs for the average farmer in our region twice as many total dollars to put that crop in. Twice as many dollars. It's unbelievable how much more stuff costs led by fertilizer. Fertilizer prices are through the roof compared to 2004. But even in terms of ag chemicals, there are a lot of farmers that are spraying fungicide now that never used to. They're spraying insecticide now they never used to. We have to have good financing if we're going to be good farmers nowadays because we want to make sure that we can not just get the crop in, but we can protect it all the way along. Well, you've got to wait a whole year to get a crop. Just like these oranges that we're standing by, you're only going to get one crop per year, but you have to spend uh, on this crop over $1,000 an acre protecting it and making sure that you have a decent crop to harvest So someday. it's a bargain when you look at corn and soybeans and the average farmer is only spending 20 to $40 in terms of ag chemicals in the upper Midwest at least. But anyway, what we wanted to really focus on here today is there certainly are good financing offers from many local banks. And I'll just say this, as a general statement, there's all kinds of money to loan out across the United States. There aren't a lot of companies that are borrowing as much as they used to because they're all concerned about the economy. So for us farmers, we have good opportunity here because our bankers, for the most part, are pretty hungry to loan money out. It's just that we have to have our ducks in a row. You've got to have all this paperwork done and everything else. And you know, for a lot of the banks too, they really reach a limit. Every bank has an internal limit in terms of how much money they're going to loan out uh, in certain segments and things like that. And if a bank is rural and all his commercial real estate people, all those people, they aren't borrowing much money anymore. They've cut down the size of their bank. Guess what? Ag might be maxed out. So we're running into this where farmers will say, boy, my bank, they just can't loan any more money out. So your choice is you go to another bank or you take advantage of some of these manufacturer financing offers like there are in 2011. Well, first of all, interest rates are really low right now, no matter what you're borrowing yeah. money from. The cost is really not that bad at this point. But the question is, if you have a limit on how much money you can borrow at your bank, you need some alternative sources. And fortunately, this year, there are a couple of chemical companies that have decided to get into the game and loan some money out. Now, you think think, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want them to be my last minute guys that are going to charge me a huge percentage or anything. So what would you think if that percentage was zero? That'd be a pretty good deal, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, it would. And this is something BSF did last year. And so now Bayer is literally copying the program exactly. And here's what BSF came with last year. And they've got the same program this year. Basically, if you buy two different BSF products for a total of $10,000 or more, and each one of the two products, you've purchased at least $1,000 or more, then you're able to get 0% financing. Now, there is a limit in terms of when you can get this financing. If you do it later in the year, you might not have the opportunity or you have to pay a higher interest rate. But here's my point. If you do this now, you can take advantage of it today, get the early price, the best deal of the year from your iChemical retailer. You pay nothing. It's 0% interest all the way through. BSF and Bayer, they're hungry for sales. It doesn't cost the retailer anything, doesn't cost you anything. They're giving you this 0% financing because they want you to not only buy Headline or not just buy Balance Flex, they want you to buy the other products from each one of the companies. And you might say, boy, if I've got this good a deal, I'll buy three or four products. That's what happened with BSF last year. It's a very successful program for them. So that's why they don't mind giving you this financing for free. They just want more total sales. Well, when you think about these two particular companies, they have a wide range of products that they sell. And in many of the markets that they're in, they may have the product that looks just like that top of the line product from some other company that's their lead product, but they've got, hey, look, it's the same chemical family. It does the same job for you, but you don't think about it because that's not the big one that they're famous for. Well, the other thing is you need to take advantage of this now. So we've already done this on our farm because we already knew going into the season we were going to buy BSF products. We knew we were going to buy Bear products. Why not get 0% financing? Even if you don't really need the cash, I'm pretty sure you can take money and you get the money for 0% interest. You can do something with it that's going to make you some money. So take advantage of this now because basically you're going to get the better price from your retailer now as compared to buying in season because the retailer is going to get his cash today from BSF or Bayer and they work this program through Farm Plan. 
So it's pretty simple to do. Most people are already approved through Farm Plan. Just take advantage of it and do it now. That's well, nice that you get 0% financing, but will any of those products control our Weed of the Week? We'll show you coming up right after this.